hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is adi thanks again for joining i know it's been such a long time but i'm actually super excited to be back vlogging and i thought today was the perfect day to start and the perfect day to take you guys around town with me i have to get electrolysis done for um some unwanted hair and then i also have to go grocery shopping for a few specialty items as well as um school supply shopping so i don't know it's just kind of a quick get my feet back wet get your feet wet back into youtube and i hope you guys enjoy this day with me all right guys so i literally just got out of my electrolysis appointment um i got like my whole like, face right here done i'm not sure yeah you can see it's like so well and a little bit of the mustache area that, that was never really too bad um so my whole face burns right now it's literally the most painful thing that i've ever gone through and i started out doing an hour session but now i can I, now we've gotten it down to 30 minutes so that just shows it is working it was 85 dollars for 30 minutes and it's expensive especially this being i think my seventh appointment it's either my seventh or eighth appointment so because it is that um i mean 85 and and, and the other ones was like 105 or 115 i was paying like 105 or 100 and 110 or 115 so i've gotten it down to 30 minutes but it's, it's it's a lot it's a lot honestly like um i need to stop trying to touch my face but it's painful but i'd rather go through it than have like the facial hair especially like when you have it really really bad and i tried um lazy hair removal and it didn't really work so i'm doing electrolysis this is the only fda approved permanent treatment so I honestly hope I don't have to have more than four more sessions because if I have to have more than four more sessions I'm like okay this is ridiculous because this is like session seven to eight I'm gonna have to do the math I'm gonna have to like really think but it's session I think seven but it, it's seven or eight one of the two um anyway so uh all right now I'm headed to I'm about to go to the store. I'm about to head home, but on the way home, I'm gonna go to Office Max or Office Depot and get some pens for school because I constantly run out of pens, and thankfully the VA will pay for my supplies. So I'm gonna go pick those up. I also have to order a book today, and um, after that, I should be done. Like headed out the house, then I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna go home, eat, organize some stuff, do some schoolwork, and get everything done. So yeah it's a lot <laughs> well i just not that much but i worked already this morning i'm at an appointment doing some shopping at home getting some stuff done so it's gonna be a pretty productive day today but i still haven't eaten and it is 106. all right guys so i'm at the asian market and i had to go in because i'm never really on this side of town too often so i've been needing to go to this asian market for like the past four months <laughs> so i'm finally able to go i went i got like a ton of sauces rice noodles stuff like that that i got here specialty um i even got a dragon fruit for aj a red one i'm hoping because i never could find the red one in the u.s like in the regular grocery stores i could only find the white ones so it said red so i'm hoping last time i said red too but this was an american store and they were white i'm hoping the asian market does a lot better job <laughs> than, you know than the u.s markets when it comes to the coloring of the dragon fruit because i've been wanting aj to try one so because they're so good the red ones not the white ones anyways so this is the asian market i went to and everything wrapped up in here Ooh. Chinese cabbage and dragon fruit. All right, guys, I'm back. Excuse the boxes behind me. Literally, like I said, we got the IKEA pack system this month, which was like a week ago. So, um, recycle didn't take everything, so we're like slowly getting it out with recycle. But, anyways, so I got, I just want to show you guys my quick grocery haul and i'll have my office max haul up like i'll show you guys that upstairs but anyways i want to show you what i got from 
the Asian market. It was like 20, actually $32. So I got two of these rice noodles. I really like these ones because they're separated. So I got two of these. These are for AJ, these aren't for me. I'm gonna make him like, he loves like the Asian noodles I make. I got him some Korean barbecue sauce. Again, this is for AJ, not for me, because I, I, I think it's like too many carbs for me. Yeah, seven carbs and they're pretty much all sugar, so this would be way too much for me. Got me some corned beef from, what is this the one from um, New Zealand? Good corned beef. Some Chinese cabbage, black soy sauce. I like the black soy sauce better because it gives it more of a flavor without having to add so much. It seems more um, like potent. Some pure sesame oil. You always wanna look at the instructions and make sure, not instructions, sorry, the ingredients and make sure that it's, um, yeah, you always want to look at the ingredients and make sure that it's just sesame oil because sometimes they cut it with like canola oil or sunflower oil or whatever. Hoisin sauce, a big old thing of hoisin sauce. We go through it a lot, but I'm not, again, this is too much sugar for me. So this is like for me, soy sauce, hoisin, this, and fish sauce is also for me because I don't think these have carbs. One gram of carb for one tablespoon, so I wouldn't eat a tablespoon. This is the dragon fruit i'm excited to see how it is and then this is the curry powder this is also too many carbs to be quite honest it's seven net carbs but i'm gonna do it in half so i'm not gonna eat a full thing i'll just end up like having it a cube and it'll be like four i guess so i'll be okay with that yeah anyway so yeah this is oh shoot yeah, so this is the Asian grocery haul. Just a little haul, 30 something dollars. And it's just because these bottles are all the really big size bottles. And I think this was like five or six dollars. Six dollars, I think. Six or seven. It was six ninety nine or five ninety nine or something like that. So yeah. Anyways. Guys, it's the right kind. I knew the Asian market had the right one. I knew it. I knew it. They're so good. I'm gonna get his reaction. He looks a little bummy, so I don't know if he's gonna want to be recorded. But so you see my Japanese knives. My boo bought me for Christmas last year. So grateful. All right. So it's super easy to peel. You just kind of peel it off. These are super. These are like tiny too, though. But makes sense. Anyways. So that's it. And then ooh, you'll just you could cut it any kind of way. I just kind of do chunks. It's three chunks. All right. You ready to try? Mm -hmm. Wait. So you ready to try? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, get one. See, remember, you remember the white ones. What did you? Wait, 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 wait. You be so ready. What you thought about the white ones? It was alright. Alright. Okay. Is it better? It's good. Yeah. Is it better than the white? Yeah, it's better than white. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. It's good? It's you gonna eat it? Yeah, I eat it. All right, guys. So this is my one taco for today. I was kind of like really wanting tacos, so I fried it. Wait a minute, guys. I, I have to interrupt right here because I am hot about this. Them dang on tortillas kicked me out of ketosis. Like, I literally gained like, like, two pounds actually almost two pounds the next day and the only thing i ate was some dang on tortillas and some keto things that i made that was perfectly fine it's keto so i know good and well that them dang on tortillas kicked me out of ketosis even though i had two it was four it was eight you know what i'm saying so would it be an eight i should still be in ketosis even if i even if i ate 25 net carbs that day it, it wouldn't matter i've eaten a little bit over 20 before and them things straight up kicked me out and put weight on me. It didn't even just kick me out. It put weight back on me. So I'm going to tell y'all right now. Some people's body can handle it. And if your body can handle it, that's perfectly fine. Continue eating them. I ate the the, the wheat ones and I, I felt those were fine. Like the brown ones. The whole wheat one. Nah, bro. I ain't even fooling with them anymore. I'm done. I'm, I'm completely done with them dang on tortilla shells. Because I'm pissed. I ain't even losing the amount of weight I'm supposed to be losing. And I feel like them tortilla shells 
is the problem. So I'm about to just get off of them completely and um, just eat cheese shells or just eat it as a salad or whatever. Anyways, I just I needed to step in because I was hot about that. I was so hot about how I got kicked off of ketosis. Some lettuce, sour cream, salsa, meat. All right, guys. So I am in my office right now, office slash closet. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Office Max. Office Depot, Office Max. So I guess they joined and combined because I'm always like Office Max. But Office Depot and Office Max. I actually went to Office Max first and I went to Office Depot. But I guess they're the same store. They merged or whatever. So anyway, this is what I got. Alright, so I initially needed to get some pens. So I saw these. Yeah, and I thought they were so cute. It's like rose gold, silver, and gold. Yellow gold um, pens, and they're in black ink. I thought that was cute. And then when I went back, because the total originally was over $50, and I have a $50 limit. So I had to change out the blue pen. So I did end up getting this pen, which is a blue, black, green, and red. And I thought, well, that would be cool, too, so I could have, like, different colors. So I bought these two pens, right? And then... I also was buying this Tua notebook. I don't know about y'all, but I really love the Tua brands. I, I love how their pens write and stuff. So for, you know, good pen, this is what the inside looks like. Nothing, nothing too fancy. But let me tell you guys, okay. So this was the craziest thing. It was originally like 50 something dollars because I didn't get the multicolor pens. I got other pens that was like $8. So I ended up getting the multicolor pens which was $6.99 instead of $8.59, right? So the guy, I told him I don't want the blue pens. I'm going to get the multicolor pens but I want the rose gold color one. So he took it off or whatever. He was like, alright, so you know... I, let me just exchange the pen really quickly. So I ended up doing that. And so what happened was, I, to, I saw the the, the the total was really low. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. I want the book. Because he took the book off. The book was $32. My goodness. He took the book off. And I was like, okay, no, I want the book. And then he was like, yeah, the book's in here. And I said, okay. I don't want the blue pen because the blue pen, if you guys could see the receipt, that's the 859. That's the first one, right? That's the, the blue pen. And then he said, no, no, no. I took the blue pen out. I said, okay. There's a long line forming. Literally, as I went to change out pens, I'm thinking, clearly he's going to take someone else. He did not. He waited for me. So I'm like, hmm, okay, let me hurry up. And then I think the third time telling him I want the book. And then he's just looking at me and I'm like, okay, fine. So I paid. He's like, do you want your receipt? Yes, because I need to sign it to send it off to the VA. He's like, okay. So he gives me the receipt. I literally, I mean, because honestly, like my anxiety started kicking in. I'm like, this guy is like, I don't know what's wrong with him. Anyways, I paid $25. And then you guys can see that. I paid $25 for something that should have been $50. So, essentially, I got the book for free. I got a $32 book, not including tax, for free. So, I ended up passing by another office max a little bit out of the way, like a two-minute detour on the way home. So, I was like, okay, well, I know that they had all this other insert stuff for the book on sale at that office max. So, let me go to Office Depot and hopefully they have the same sales because essentially it's the same store. My good gracious, they had the same stuff for sale, but they had a very, they only had like two left. No, one left. I got the last one, thank God. And then I ended up getting other stuff because I was like, well, I have a $50 limit. Let me get other stuff that I would need for this book to just help me better take notes. So I purchased some other items. So I got these insult inserts for the book. So it's more paper. It has notes, to-do list. I'm not really sure what these are for. I'm guessing these hold paper or something. But it also has like a little to-do list thing. So I thought that was really cool. This was on sale for... 
Oh, it was originally $16. It was half off, so I paid $8, or $7.99 for it, which is really good. Then, I got these as well, because I was like, oh, okay, you know, these would be great to have some sticky notes. So I could just put in a book, put on my computer, wherever I need to put these. I got these as well. These were $4. And then I thought this would be cool, too which is also goes inside the tool which is a dry erase daily dashboard so i have a dry erase i have dry i have tons of dry erase markers so i'll just you know write what i need to write you know make sure i get something done and that was that and then this total was 17 like 1737 plus 2511 I really could have even bought more stuff but I'm not really trying to be wasteful I'm really just trying to get stuff that I need or could use or something like that so centrally under fifty dollars so <laughs> that's what I did and that's what I got so these are everything I got from office depot office max today and so I did end up eating a second taco y'all I was hungry I ate that first taco. I was like that thing was so good and I still had a little bit of meat left so I was like let me eat that second taco so so far I've eaten like the two taco shells was eight net carbs those were high and then the meat was like maybe one not really but you put spices in it um and then the cheese was like four I'm just gonna get four um so 4, 8, 12, 13, sour cream, 15, 16, I normally do less serving sour cream, 17 net carbs, wow, like 17 net carbs for those two tacos. To be quite honest, I'm really full. Dang, that's a lot of, those, those taco shells, that's why I was only supposed to eat one. So I don't think I'm going to eat again today. So that's everything, you guys. Thank you for spending this day with me. Though it's not fully today because I'm actually about to do this closet. It's just not going to be in this video, but it's going to be in the next video. I'm going to organize the closet and I will give you guys a sneak peek of the closet right now. Just to see, to make you come back because you may want to see this get redone so this is like still storage stuff shoes because essentially the whole closet and i'm gonna show you guys in the next video the look of the closet is gonna be but this whole thing is gonna be closet so i want to all that stuff up there i kind of want to let me show you all that stuff right there i'm trying to get me done get this box organized this box right here that's closed is box full of hangers and then i want to also get this put together a little bit as well so and tomorrow um you should be getting the other video i'm not i don't have a schedule i'm just gonna try to upload as much as i can and just go along with that <laughs> whatever thanks for watching if you are new i would appreciate if you subscribe or comment